Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's quick video, we are going to perform some upgrades to my AI or proof of useful rig. Okay, so looking at the upgrades that we are going to make, I'm going to install three more GPUs into the rig. I'll also be transplanting it from the 4U server into this normal computer case. And when I say normal, it's really not normal, it's absolutely massive. We'll also be installing some extra fans and then performing some memory upgrade onto the system. But before we jump into that, let me show you where it is and show you guys exactly what I got. Okay, so you can see my makeshift data center here at the house. Um, on the left hand side, I've got the new E10 Octominer box. So I still need to go unbox it and figure out what I'm going to do with it. What you then see is two of my AI rigs here in the front. So the one on the left is the one that you've seen a couple of videos on. It's the A4000. And the one here, this is the 4U a uh, server case that's currently got one A4000 in. So this is the rig that we want to upgrade and then move it from this 4U server into that normal computer case. And the big reason why I want to make the move or the transplant and some of the upgrades is, as you can see here, it's in the start of our house. It sort of makes a noise. Uh, wife is not super happy about the noise. And uh, again, once I open it up and show you guys, you will see it's not really perfect for what I am doing with it. But enough of me talking about it, let's put it onto the table and open it up and sort of show you why I want to do the upgrades. Okay, so I've opened it up and quickly talking through the components and what the issues are. So I've got a EVGA 1600 watt power supply right there. I've got our, or my Noctua cooler. So underneath I've got an AMD Epic, that's a second gen 7532. So that's 32 cores. And then here is the A5000. Now, as you guys can probably see here, it's a little bit tight here. I can probably fit more GPUs in here, but it's going to be super tight. And as you can see here, it's already sort of a little bit into the hard drive carry. Now, what I didn't realize when I bought this for you case, and the big reason why I did buy this for you case, it was super cheap on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I think I paid like 40 bucks for it, so it was really cheap. But it's really, looking at the actual design of the case, it's really for uh, NAS storage or network storage. It's not really for what I want to do. And I want to put it into that case there. As you guys have seen, I've done a build before. So the GPUs and the airflow is quite nice. Temps are fantastic. Not that the temps is an issue here, but I'd love to give it a little bit more space. And the big reason here, as you can see, the hard drive carries doesn't really have any airflow pushing through the cards and out of the back. The only real fan here is these fans there, which is really only to take CPU heat out. And at least from my experience, the CPUs doesn't do that much in terms of AI work. So that's sort of the big reason as to why I want to upgrade it. I will definitely use this case. I'll put it in my server rack. Um, I've got some plans and I'll make some videos about it. But next up, let's do the montage of me transplanting this and performing some of the upgrades into that case there.
okay most of the build or all of the artwork is done and dusted i've got a little bit of cable management left over but and putting up the panels and taking it through its paces in terms of stress testing but going over the basics what i've done really is i've doubled the ram so now i've got 256 previously 128 added three GPUs and then transplanted into this bigger case from the 4U case which then allows me to put in a lot more airflow here so you can see I've, I've just added three fans this is the Noctua industrial fans probably should have gone for the higher RPM this is 2000 RPM but that's what was available uh, but again I've got one pulling out at the back and then the two here pulling through the GPUs there's a lot of place for a lot more fans i don't really think i need it again i've got the exact same build on the garage or in the garage and it's perfectly fine so i don't think there's going to be any issues with this but that's again what i'm going to do next is just put it through its paces that's it for this video guys if you've liked the video please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't please specify in the comments what you would like me to change otherwise i'll catch you in the next one cheers